2018 when my husband and i first separated once we got back together i ended up getting pregnant honestly it wasn't really the best time because we were trying to work on our marriage rekindle our intimacy you know and now we have to also worry about having another baby so we tried to make it work and just focus on ourselves but honestly me being pregnant and my husband was trying to work through things in his own feelings and he kind of got to a place where he was like look it's too little too late and he let me know like look i just can't do this anymore first sonogram that i got i sent it to my husband and he didn't even respond like that's how clocked out he was of our relationship and it wasn't until i want to say like a month or two maybe three months later that i found out that he was talking to someone at his job and they were in a relationship for the whole duration of my pregnancy, he is with that woman and we have not communicated at all. No calls, no texts, he doesn't know anything about the baby. I don't know what's going on outside of like when I have conversations with his mom and his mom is kind of telling me things. I'm believing that God is going to restore us, that he's going to sh change things around. And it was hard because I'm pregnant, I'm hormonal and I love his mom. But there were even moments where talking to his mom was kind of detrimental for me because she would tell me things like, oh, you know, they're having fun and they really like each other. So in my mind, I'm thinking he's in with her and this is it like our marriage is over and i want to also say that throughout this time even though i wasn't talking to my husband the holy spirit would tell me a lot of things like sometimes i would have dreams about my husband and the lord would just speak to me through scripture and there were times where god would give me dreams or give me scripture and then his mom would end up telling me something that confirmed exactly what god would tell me so even though one part of me thought okay our marriage is over and he wants this other woman i also knew that the truth of the matter was their relationship was very toxic but so fast forward now i'm at the end of my pregnancy and one night I'm watching this prophetic video and at the time I didn't really like prophetic videos too much I was very like you know aware that some of these prophets are false so I didn't really take a lot of these videos too seriously but this night one of the videos they were talking about that like God was going to do something in three days for some reason it stuck with me and I took mental note okay three days something is going to happen so the third day comes and I'm eating my bowl of cereal at night like I normally did it was like 11 o'clock and I'm getting ready to get in a bed and I lift my leg up to get into the bed and I felt like this sharp pain like you know in my abdomen area I get up and I walk to the bathroom I go sit down and a gush of water comes out my water breaks so I'm sitting on the toilet I'm calling out to my mom she comes running out her first thing is well I'm gonna go tell Donnie and in my mind I'm like do not call this man we have not talked in all the time that I've been pregnant he's probably not gonna show up he wants nothing to do with us she decides to go ahead and call my husband anyway so now I'm on the toilet trying to figure out how I'm gonna get up and you know get downstairs I'm leaking everywhere I'm worried about what is my husband gonna think I don't want him to think that I'm pressuring him to be there and my mom is real adamant and I'm nervous because my first son was an emergency c-section so I've never had to push a baby out there was a lot going on in my mind my mom wakes my dad up to let him know that I'm in labor right now and she grabs my hospital bag up we walk outside to go put the stuff in the car and I look out into the street and I see my husband's car is parked there fantastic <laughs> your husband's car is parked there and Let's endeavor to complete our stories, please. Mm -hmm. I saw, when I saw this video, I saw the title, God Restored My Marriage Despite Infidelity. It is smoky, boo. I said the Lord has done it again. But which Lord? I don't know. <laughs> please, let us endeavor not to give God glory for what God is not aware of. Hmm? There are many people that do this. They give God glory. Things where God no no. <laughs> God is not aware of many things. But I say now God do them. Forgetting say devil self they do. U satana. Self they do you. Mm. God is not aware of this one. It's not God that did this one, my sister. First off, a man that lacks empathy or pity or human sympathy for a woman he took to the altar to profess his love for you are making excuses for him that the load is too much which load is too much which load is too much you are making excuses for this man he left you in your moment the moment you were lowest he left you he left you, he left you with his children, he left you with his children. Then went away. He said it's too much. Okay, if it's too much, if he needed a break, I will understand. If he left everything, then he went, he said he wants to clear his head. If he had gone and stayed on his own to find himself, I would say, okay, oh, this man truly needed space to find himself. 
But does, does that excuse him not communicating with his wife, telling at least answering, seeing his baby sonogram and answering? To make matters worse, he now went, carried one of his colleagues and started hammering that one skuma. <laughs> so that the mother knows that his mother too is part of the equensurism. <laughs> the usatanarism. His mother is the real equensu. <laughs> because the mother knows that your husband left you to carry a random colleague in the office. That time, that time, it was not too much for him. Oh. The time he was bending that one, giving that one from back. <laughs> it, it, it was not too much for him. Then you will call the mother. The mother will open her mouth to be telling you that uh, 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 they are having fun. And you are still calling that kind of woman. You are still calling that one mother-in-law. Because she is in cahoots with her son. They don't like you. Now, after nine months, you say God brought him back. His car is parked outside. My sister, God did not bring him back. That God has nothing to do with what happened there. Your husband is selfish. He's selfish. What happened is that that his relationship with that other daughter of Eve, it has crashed. He has seen that that relationship is toxic. It's not going anywhere. So what did he do? He has to retrace his step back to you. Because you, you are an understanding woman. You are very understanding. You know, there's a thin line be between delusional and understanding. But I get you. You are a good woman. A very good woman. You want your marriage to work. So you make excuses. For a man that lacks empathy. Many of us do it. When we love somebody, a man will make excuses for a woman that treats him like garbage. She go, 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 knock other people, knock other people, come back. He go say, oh, now me, Duam. It's my fault. It is smoky, boo. My sister bets me that man will still be overwhelmed again. <laughs> Very soon, he will run away again. Because he lacks empathy. He lacks human feelings. Anybody that lacks empathy, when they do you strong thing and their mind no shake them, run away from such people. If I want to do you bad thing now, the way my mind will be doing me, I will not. I will feel very bad. Even when you wronged me, if I want to revenge, I will be feeling bad. Even after I take the revenge, I will not be able to sleep at night. I will, it will be hurting me that I did something to hurt somebody. But there are some people, they will do you, they will not even look back. Those ones are called narcissists. That is what your husband is. And please stop giving God glory. God is not aware of this one. <laughs> God is not aware. Because sometimes we tell ourselves something, what we want. Then we will now assume it's the Holy Spirit that told us. But it's, it, is, it is what we are thinking in our heart. Oh, we have taught it, taught it, taught it. Then when somebody else now says it's close to what we want, we say, yes, it's the Holy Spirit. It's confirmation. There's no confirmation dear my sister. That man will still run from you. Bet me. If he doesn't run from you, call me Okrama. <laughs> call me a bingo. If that man no run from you again, no problem. God will see us. There is God in everything we are doing. Thank you. Hey. Where are you going? It is smoky, boo. When you watch this video now, didn't you laugh? You laughed, but you still refuse to subscribe. Are you among my village people? <laughs> you are among my village people. You don't want me to make it in life. Continue. You refuse. You laughed. Shouldn't my reward be <laughs> click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and click all notifications. And when you finish watching, you share. Share to your friends so that they too will laugh. So that me too, I will go far. But no, you decided to be among my village people. You want to watch and go. <laughs> Don't be among my village people. They are not good people. I post videos every day, every single day to make you laugh. If you join the tribe, the fantastic tribe, every day you will just be laughing. Look at this one now. This one is to watch all my funny videos playlist.
this one is to watch my last video and this one is to subscribe